Hello MCU fans! Today we're going to take a look at some brand new footage that was released for the Deadpool and Wolverine movie to also help announce that tickets are on sale, so make sure to get yours right away so your favorite theater and favorite showtime doesn't sell out. So I'm going to try to put the new scenes into the chronological order for how I think the overall movie flows, and you can tell me whether you think I got it right. Should be a lot of fun, so without further ado, let's dive right in and see what we can find out. Don't forget, we have a May contest running all month long. Be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steelbook. Best of luck. And we have a membership option in case you want to help me with my goal of doing this full time one day. But honestly, no matter how you support the channel, it's all greatly appreciated. Leaving comments, liking videos and subscribing, those things go a long way too. So thank you so much. So one of the most important things to say up front is that Wolverine's costume progression helps us place these scenes in order. Notice on the left, he's got his pristine costume. In the middle, it's now a little dirtier and has some very big bullet holes. And then on the right, he's got the bullet holes and his costume is sleeveless. So we're gonna see how that really helps us put these scenes together. All right, so we're gonna go quickly through some of the beginning scenes. I know we've seen these before. So he's given up being Deadpool. He's got the costume in the locker and he's working as a used car salesman. Notice he's got his badge saying, a sales consultant at DriveMax. Now, I think he wants to join the MCU and is discussing that uh, with everyone because when Blind Al wants to do uh, some hard drugs, he says, no, 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 no. That's the one thing that Feige said is off limits. Well, he's bringing that up because I think he really wants to join the MCU. He's even warning that, you know, they have a list. They know all the slang terms. That's hilarious. We also learn that he's broken up with Vanessa. Uh, and in fact, in the CinemaCon uh, trailer, we learn that she's been dating someone else for a while. But they're still all together, which is great. They're celebrating his birthday. He makes a wish, which I think is to join the MCU, blows out the candle, and immediately there's a knock at the door. It's the TVA, and they are very impatient, get out the boomsticks, and they take him off to see Paradox. Now, I think, and I've mentioned in other videos, I think that we have alternate universes across the, the multiverse, and that each alternate universe potentially has its own TVA. So you could have a paint TVA and an animated TVA, but I do believe that there is an X-Men universe TVA and, of course, the one that we saw in Loki. I've covered that more fully in other uh, trailer breakdowns, so I'm not going to go into more detail on that. Uh, you can check out the other videos, but I really do think this is a different TVA and that, of course, Loki's tree, the, the main uh, uh, MCU, is now in a tree form making it visible to the entire multiverse and the envy of the entire multiverse. And in fact, that's why I think uh, Paradox is saying, hey, look, look, this is your chance to be a hero among heroes and to join the MCU. He's literally teasing him with the option of doing that because again, it's now a visible tree, as, as, as visible as the North Star in the sky. And so they're showing, uh, you know, here are some scenes obviously from uh, Age of Ultron. He's saluting to Captain America. And I believe Paradox is doing this because he wants Wade to go on a mission and he knows that Wade wants to join the MCU. You might remember when he was talking to Korg and was asking Korg for tips on how to get to the MCU in that hilarious um, a video that Ryan Reynolds put out. So Paradox knows what he wants, and he's teasing him with it. Why does Paradox want his help? Well, he's pointing to the timeline on the far right, and I'm going to zoom in on it. Notice it's a mess. Why is it a mess? Because I think that is the Fox X-Men timeline, the one that this TVA is monitoring, and it, it's a disaster, right? And of course, we've discussed that in other videos. It is pretty crazy, right? I mean, Deadpool himself has made it a mess by jumping around the timelines. And it's very important. Deadpool likes to fix timelines, because we learned that he, in Deadpool 2, went around and fixed a bunch of timelines, even said, just cleaning up the timelines. And he can also sense when the timelines are confusing. McAvoy or Stewart, he says, these timelines are so confusing. So, the TVA wants his help, and I think Deadpool decides, well, I want to join with a Wolverine to go on this mission. So they armor him up, give him adamantium katanas, which will obviously come in handy, uh, and then he starts searching out uh, his favorite Wolverine. I think that's where we're going to get a ton of these cameos. In this case, it's Patch, the Patch Wolverine from the comics, but I think they're going to be played by different actors, which should be awesome. But finally, he does meet the main Wolverine, the one that will be throughout the movie. And of course, we see that this one is very down on his luck. The bar bartender doesn't even want him there. You're not welcome anymore. He asks for just one more drink. Uh, and then up comes Deadpool, who says, pretty much, come with me right now. And he doesn't want to come with him. So he says, fine. All right, I'm on the TikTok. So upsy-daisy. I think when he picks him up, 
we can see that he is actually wearing his Wolverine costume, which is pretty funny. Now, I realize some people have said, ah, that's just you know khaki pants. It could be, but I think that's the yellow of his costume, and he's so depressed, he just walks around in it. That's pretty funny. But that would also explain how he gets into this costume. But anyway, um, they makes a joke about uh, Wolverines being over 40 and not being able to get their claws out. Very funny. And then basically threatens him, says, you know, I, I want you to reconsider. Uh, I want you to come with me. And if you don't want to come with me, this is what will happen. But this Wolverine is so depressed, he leans into the gun. Wow, that's craziness. So ultimately, I do believe Deadpool gets him back up to the TVA. And in fact, this shot from Entertainment Weekly really helps give us some context. First of all, notice Wolverine does not have the bullet holes. In fact, his costume is completely clean, no dirt whatsoever. This has to be early in the movie. And notice also Deadpool has what I'm betting is a temp pad. So probably what we didn't see at this point is the TVA gave him a temp pad so he could jump around and find his favorite Wolverine. Well, turns out the TVA, who now is injured, Paradox gets punched by somebody, maybe Wolverine, maybe Deadpool, but is explaining this Wolverine let down his entire world. He's pretty worthless. In fact, they do something to Wolverine. Maybe they stun him, hit him with one of their little uh, time twister um, or, or time twister guns or something to slow him down, obviously knock him out. Um, and then we get this scene, which I, I really can't wait to find out what's going on here in the movie. Maybe these are graves. Maybe this is inside his mind and this is how he views his failure. But basically everybody in his world died. So we still don't know which timeline this Wolverine came from. I think that's going to be one of the most interesting reveals in the movie. This shot, though, is fascinating. This is another shot uh, that came from some of the magazine articles. In particular, I think Empire is the one that had this. Sure looks like this is leading to a fight uh, because Deadpool's jumping through the air, obviously, and the TV is coming after him. So maybe they pruned that Wolverine, which ticked off um, uh, Deadpool, and maybe now he uses that Tempad to jump somewhere. And I think that somewhere is the Logan timeline. I am just absolutely positive this is Logan timeline. I think that's the vehicle from, from the end of Logan that gets overturned. It looks like the forest where the kids are running. I even think this tree is the tree where ultimately uh, Logan was killed. Um, and sorry if that's a spoiler for Logan, but I think we all know that, right? Because there were even promos where literally they were talking about the fact that Logan died in Logan. We're not touching that. So I don't think that they're altering the timeline at all there, but I do think, I do think potentially X-23 might show up, a more modern day X-23, which that would be awesome. Uh, but anyway, Deadpool says, wait, they all stop. Notice the TVA is chased after him. They're ticked. So I think this is right after that battle that we saw in, in the TVA. Uh, so then he jumps out from the tree and starts attacking them. And I think this is wild. Notice what's in his hand. He is jabbing in that dude's back a branch. You can see a better shot of it here. Isn't that wild if these are the branches that Logan was impaled on? Wild. That'd be so cool. So cool. Anyway, so then eventually he gets out his katanas and fights. Uh, here's a cool shot uh, from the promo images. But I believe ultimately he does get pruned. And that's what sends him to the void. So I think Wolverine was already pruned. And then now Wade is pruned. And obviously Wolverine's going to be mad because Wolverine was fine just sitting in the bar drinking and now he's stuck in what I believe is the void. The reason I think every scene after this is the void, look on the left, the 20th Century Fox, all the other Easter eggs that we've covered in other videos, this has to be the void. All right, so this I think is just a promo shot, may or may not appear in the movie, but either way you notice Wolverine does not yet have his bullet holes. All right. This, though, is definitely in the movie. Uh, Deadpool is saying, I'm about to lose everything I've ever cared for, and Wolverine's like, it, it ain't my problem. Um, but then uh, Deadpool ticks him off. Is that what you said when your world went uh, down the crapper? <laughs> and that was enough for Wolverine. He's mad. So he uh, sticks out his claws and says, let's go. Uh, and, then, and then I think they get into this fight. Notice they're swinging. Um, <laughs> Deadpool gets it right where it counts. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, notice still no bullet holes on Wolverine, but he does get shot in the side. Uh, headbutts Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool gets, I think, thrown through this wall at this point. Now, here's key. This is key. He loads his guns, gets them ready to go, points them, and I think that's when we finally get the bullet holes. Because notice, we're now in the middle of this fight, and he's using the katanas to block Wolverine's blows, but he's got the bullet holes. So, Again, if you look at the fact that in the TVA he didn't have the bullet holes, those had to happen before this scene, right? And plus his costume was pristine and looked great, and now it's pretty bad. All right, so I think eventually they stop fighting, 
<laughs> I don't know what leads to that, but somehow they stop fighting, and now uh, they're having a little bit of a heart-to-heart as Wade is trying once again to convince him, you've got to help me. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do, and he's going to lose all of his loved ones. But something triggers Wolverine and um, leads to this fight that we see in the car. Now, why do I say this has to happen at this point? Notice the bullet holes on his shirt. You can see him as he's jumping there, uh, and then he gets stabbed in the leg by Deadpool. Notice you can still see the bullet holes on his shirt. So this is after they had that initial fight. Um, how they find this car, I have no idea. Of course, he throws Deadpool out of the car, and then Deadpool fixes his arm. But somewhere they get this car. And now the, the back has been torn out, and now we have a new sunroof. Uh, then I think this, that's when this pose that they gave us uh, in Empire Magazine is happening. Notice he's got the bullet holes. Um, so uh, then this is the new footage. This is new footage they gave us uh, in the trailers. Notice the bullet holes. And so I think this is happening after uh, that fight. And I'm not even going to include this joke. You can go watch the trailer if you want. Let's just say it's a joke about where Deadpool's knife is located and it's where the sun don't shine on Wolverine. We'll leave it at that. But this is what I think is really cool. They give us this wide shot of uh, Deadpool getting up. Notice on the left, I don't know if those are railroad tracks. Kind of doesn't seem like it'd be a railroad track, but there's two grooves in the ground uh, running parallel to each other. Keep that in mind, because I think we're going to see that again in another shot from earlier as we try to put all this again together. And again, I'm I'm, I'm 99% sure they're in the void at this point. Okay, so then... At some point, they're at this restaurant, and I'll show you why I think it's in the void. So they start talking about, you know, you want to talk about what's haunting you, or do we wait for a third act flashback, and we get another, um, you know, go um, go frick yourself. Anyway, um, here's the key. Notice Deadpool has, or, or, or Wolverine, rather, has got the bullet holes on his shirt. So this has to be in the void. I wasn't sure at first if this was before they got in the void or after. This has to be in the void, and then look out the window. There's those parallel tracks that we saw in the other scene. So I don't know what those signify. Maybe they're the border between different territories in the void, or maybe it's just some random thing, but it's shown up in two shots. I think that's interesting. And I think, therefore, that that fight they were having has to be happening around the time of them in the bar. So they definitely fight each other multiple times, but eventually sit down and chat. Then I think we get to this scene, uh, which is where we start seeing all the vehicles. I, I, I call it like the Mad Max crew, but they're all the different um, X-Men villains that are now uh, in these different cars. I'm not going to go through all the Easter eggs because I did that in other videos, but the one that I did miss and forgot to mention is not only is this Red Skull's car from the uh, first Avenger movie, that, that's obvious, but notice it's painted with the hot rod colors that Tony Stark did in the first Iron Man movie. So my guess is this car was from a, uh, a, a different a timeline where Tony Stark bought, you know, the Red Skull's car and made it tricked out like his hot rods. And notice, even the headpiece is an Iron Man piece. So that's why I think this has to be the void. You're not going to get something so crazy as an Iron Man uh, or a Tony Stark buying uh, Red Skull's car <laughs> and then putting the, the Iron Man's helmet and, and the paint on it, unless this was the void pruning all kinds of wacky timelines. Uh, I love this vehicle. That's pretty cool, uh, being pulled by the motorcycles. Um, and then I think there they're on the car, right? This is the same car we saw earlier, either chasing after those guys or running from them, one of the two. But this is important. So this was from the first trailer where we see this dude using this device. I'm showing you this because I want you to see this, which is from the new trailer. This is new footage, really ties it all together. They are meeting with the, with, with the uh, X-Men villains uh, in disguise, obviously, at this point, before he loses his sleeves. Notice, he's still got his sleeves on, but he does have the damage, the battle damage on his back. You can see the scar or the rip in his costume on the back. So, very interesting. I didn't think they met these guys until he lost his sleeves, to be honest, but clearly it's before that. This might just be promo footage, but again, it's showing him with the sleeves, the bullet holes, and then that's the ball that the Mad Max guys have been pulling behind their cars and trapping the TVA in. Um, This again may or may not appear in the movie, but bullet holes, but he's got the sleeves and they're in front of the Moon Knight ice cream truck, or sorry, cupcake truck. I always say ice cream truck, cupcake truck. All right, so then I do think they head to the Giant Man uh, statue because if we look at the IMAX footage we got, there's Deadpool jokingly saying, huh, Paul Rudd finally aged. 
they got to be referring to that giant man statue, right? But notice, bullet holes still got his sleeves. So I think that they encounter the X-Men villains and Cassandra maybe more than once. So I'll show you what I mean here. All right, so we're back to Giant Man. The only Easter egg I want to point out here is the one that I don't hear anybody talking about on, on YouTube, but it's such an important Easter egg. I'm pretty sure that's Stone from Elektra, from Elektra's movie. He was one of the you know B-rate villains that were sent after uh, Elektra in it. So that's important. We'll, we'll come back to him and why, why I'm mentioning him in a moment. But all right, so Giant Man, uh, his mouth opens. You can see those teeth. Yuck, that's so nasty. Uh, and then Cassandra Nova is inside. Um, says, boys are so silly. Uh, well, of course, this is the Cassandra Nova from the comics. She's the sister of Professor X. I can't wait to see what they do to explain her in the movie because in the comics, it is a wacky, wacky origin. But she, is, she does have Professor X's uh, powers, uh, you know, telepathy. Um, so, all right, um, is, as she's walking down the stairs here. Uh, that, that's really cool stairs. Uh, and then I think this is a promo shot, but it's a good look at her as she heads down. Now, this is what I, I'm really struggling with. Does this lead immediately to Wolverine attacking her? Notice he has no sleeves. So at some point he loses those sleeves and then the rest of the movie he has no sleeves. So I do believe it's during this initial battle because uh, it doesn't go well for them, right? She just basically kicks his butt, takes over him, uh, shoves his um, claws down into the ground. So it's, it's a very one-sided battle. My guess is when they jump out of the window, uh, well, it, when they jump out of uh, Ant-Man, Giant-Man, but anyway, and into this portal, I don't think this is going to end game. I, I, I appreciate the people that think that, and it'd be really wild if it is, and hey, I won't complain. If that's what happens, that's fine. No, I think this is another hero in the void who does have a sling ring saving them and getting them out of this battle because they're going to return again, is my guess. But we'll see. Uh, but So this is why, because all these scenes have to happen before the end of the movie, obviously. We got this scene of him saying to somebody, trust me, kid, I'm no hero, notice no sleeves. If X-23 was pruned during that Logan scene, he could very well be talking to X-23. That would be cool. Uh, then we, I, they're standing in an Airbnb in the void, I guess. This seems like it might be the bed from Hulk, but I'm saying this has to be during the void scenes because we see Wolverine and he has no sleeves. So this is well after the point when he was uh, pruned into the void. He's having some whiskey or some type of uh, very strong proofed alcohol, I'm sure, spitting it out. Uh, and then whether or not Deadpool's really saying, uh, let's freaking go at this point or not, because it's so hard to tell when they just dub over different lines. You can see Wolverine has no sleeves. And again, there's the bed probably from uh, Thor Ragnarok. All right. Now, I think Wolverine may have said he's no hero, but I think they've decided they're going back and they're going to fight. Um, because probably there are heroes to the left and the right of them here, right? Surely they've edited some people out uh, for this final scene. A Deadpool notice has now got the golden guns, which I think he has gotten from one of the Deadpool core, because we do see that Dogpool is in the movie, and one of the new scenes we got was this one of Dogpool, um, I love those little shoes, uh, running, running down the field, uh, and of course, we had seen in an early, the first trailer what's got to be Lady Deadpool, right? Because Deadpool doesn't use machine guns. Lady to Deadpool does. So I do think we'll run into members of the Deadpool Corps, including Kidpool and Headpool, etc., and that that's where Deadpool got those golden guns. But now I think they head back and re-enter to, to fight Cassandra Nova because I think, notice this is the inside of Giant, Man hand, Giant Man's hands, not the outside. I think it's the inside. So they blow those open and now they come back, I believe, in their car, <laughs> that junky car that's made it all the way through the movie, right? And we get this final battle. I think Goliath is sent in uh, to try to attack. Uh, of course, that's Giant Man's body there. Um, I, I think that's what leads to Pyro saying, I love this part. I think the part that he loves is a TVA guy getting toasted. Maybe it's possible these scenes were earlier. I, I could see that. But you're going to see why I do think at least some of these fight scenes have to be at the end. So anyway, Elioth wastes that dude. Um, then, these fight scenes here. So we were taking down the, these dudes. Um, Deadpool just, you know, causing major damage. Notice, here's Wolverine with no sleeves, right? But then this is really important. Notice this leg. And then notice also this arm. So... The reason I think it's so important that Stone appeared earlier is I am certain this has to be Elektra because you can even see what might look like her armband, 
her black armband, and then her legs, which you can still see even in this scene down in the bottom, that looks like her leather armor. So it looks like she's gone with her, her outfit from the first movie. I am certain that's gotta be Elektra. Now I know there are rumors out there on who is and isn't confirmed for the movie, I'm not talking about anything that has not been officially released by Marvel, and Marvel has not officially said she's in the movie, but I'm thinking they, they we can see her here. That's gotta be her. So why do I think then uh, Wolverine and Deadpool had an initial battle and escaped? Because I don't think Elektra was in the first battle with them. It was just the two of them that approached uh, Cassandra. So I think they end up escaping. Now, like I said earlier, uh, that, that somebody in the void does have a sling ring, and then they end up coming back to fight again. So I would love your opinion on that. I, I'm really confident about everything up to when he lose, loses his sleeves. These, these scenes with the X-Men villains and Cassandra Nova, I'm less convinced on the exact order, but let me know your thoughts. But no matter what, I guarantee this is going to be one incredible movie. So yeah, get out, buy your tickets now before, the, before your favorite theater and or favorite show sells out. And notice Fandango even has this crazy premium package where you can get a hold of the uh, best friend's necklace. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, so let me know your feedback. How did I do in trying to put all this together? Also, don't forget, make contests, be a subscriber, leave a comment, win a book or a steel book. And there's a membership option if you're interested in that. And then as always, I mentioned a Discord, uh, 1,300 members uh, across the globe, 24-7 conversations going on. We would love you to be part of it. We do rewatches of videos. Uh, here's some more of the rewatches. Uh, we do MMRPG. That is always fun. Uh, Star Wars retrospectives. Uh, thumbnail contests, because we know my thumbnails ain't that great. <laughs> and so hopefully, hopefully the second uh, part of the Moon Girl um, season will be, will be released soon. But you can design a Moon Girl thumbnail. And then finally, we have a bunch of threads uh, to cover anything you want to talk about. We talk about mostly Star Wars, DC, and Marvel, but honestly, anything you want, we can put in the other media and uh, fire away. So love to have you join. I will leave a pinned comment so that you can find uh, a way to get to our server. And also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we'll all continue to enjoy the ever-growing, ever-changing Marvel Cinematic Universe.